Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Caldwell. I'm Nathan. That's right. Just the two boys, just the classic Drawfee style mm. coming at you. Uh, a blast from the past. Yes. And Nathan, while we're on the subject of the past, yeah. I don't want to waste any time. No. Time time has uh, time waits for no man. Yes. You, you mentioned classics. Uh-huh. Classic Drawfee with, yes. uh, with a classic suggestion. And a classic twist. That's right. This time we were doing Isabella Yusuf's suggestion of Knock off classic art. Yeah, knock off famous classic art. I think other people have probably suggested this as well. Yes. But I like this because there's so much There's so much art. There's like five works of art that people remember. You got Smiling Lady. You got Smiling Lady you with got, Earring. You got Screaming Man. You've got Screaming Man. You've got Old Couple just looking so disappointed. You've got The Beautiful Night. And of course, You've abstract. Got just all those blurry flowers. Oh, the blurry flowers. You've got that one bale of hay that the guy painted during four seasons. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Art was bad for a long time. And uh, then it got good. And then maybe it got bad again. And now Drawfee's here and, and it's now, good one more and time. <laughs> and now it's forever bad. Oh, wait, oh, no, it's good. It's good. So, Nathan, we're, we're going to be, I think we're just going to be tackling one work of art this time yeah, I'm, we're doing a collab since it's just the two of us here i i figured just the two of us here in the same room yes. i should clarify yeah, it's very fun to yeah. be here in the same room <laughs> it's, it's very fun to be in the same room it's <laughs> you know that's what i scream anytime i'm at a party <laughs> <laughs> it's true we were at a party earlier and uh -huh. did scream it hi kaylee <laughs> that's your name it's very fun to be in the it's same room as you to be in the same room yes what do you do Mm, I don't care. Would you like some of these snacks from a bag that I purchased earlier for this explicit purpose? Good, it's good to be in a room with you. I love seeing the same walls as you, my new acquaintance. So what are you what are you doing here? Well, I thought we'd take a page from the rest of development. A recreation? Yeah, a recreation, sort of a classic. You know, we're not trying to get too esoteric right no. off the bat. This is a, a work that's been lampooned, and uh, I feel... Uh, you think we got to toss our hat into the ring? This is a proof of concept for perhaps a, a new type of knockoff series Ooh. that we could be doing on Draw. We could call it Hassle in the Classics or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we could call it just like me mess them up, mess them up real bad, <laughs> the Classics. Uh, Renaissance men. I'd love to get Julia and Jacob in here at some point, but the, they didn't decide to just go on vacation. They're not here right now. We were at dinner and somebody asked uh, where Julia was. Yeah, they were <laughs> they were very excited <laughs> to see us and then became visibly disappointed when we told them that Julia was That's... not with us. Um, That's the drawfy difference. I was also not fully there mentally. Nathan's been enjoying all that California has to offer. Yeah, I've been enjoying some legal recreation. That's right. Talking about tacos. We're talking about tacos, mm -hmm. of course. Nathan has been just getting tacos at every opportunity in, in multiple forms. They've got, you know, edible tacos now. They've got uh, vapable tacos. Yes. They've got these tacos that you can They've just kind of like. mint tacos. Yeah. That you can just sort of suckle on. Mm -hmm. Your girlfriend got like some tacos that you could just like drip into your mouth. Yes. Very good tacos all around. Yeah. And that's the, the reason the tacos are so good is because it got the CBD, which mm -hmm. of course stands for uh, Chorizo Buenos Dias. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, shut it down. We can't, we have so much more to go. Yeah. <laughs> I need some of that good morning sauce. <laughs> and you know, this would be a knockoff of this work even if we tried to recreate it exactly because I'm uh -huh. not doing a great job. No, well, I mean, you're getting that Michelangelo style which is just huge, big hands, just lumps. Just some just lumps. Just too many lumps. Just like, some lumps. Too muscular. Like Michelangelo definitely was kind of uh, ahead of ahead of his time, I think, when it came to just drawing huge, muscular, lumpy men. Speaking of huge, uh, muscular, <laughs> lumpy men, I should you yeah. Know, I've, you may have noticed there's one sort of departure already taken place here. <laughs> I'm noticing that. I, I see that you you've shied away from drawing the head. You've kept that a secret. Yeah, and I did give him some some just some real tight. Pants. Some tight pants Some and just tight like pants, high waisted pants. This because... friend seems to really enjoy doing push ups. Yeah. Just judging from the size yeah. of those pecs. The those... pecs are, are very big. This is kind of silly. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of silly. We're but... having a little fun. We're but having a, little, a bit of a laugh. A little, you know, we were talking about names of paintings uh -huh. and uh, what 
you know, which ones we wanted to do for this episode. Right, right. And so Birth of Adam, that's the name of this one. And yes. So what's a fun, what's a fun what's muscly a, Adam? What's a fun muscly Adam that's been in the news of late? Of, of <laughs> Not even of late. Like, <laughs> Well, late being the keyword. <laughs> yeah, news. This is like if your your mom was on the internet one time yeah. and, and was like, oh, I saw the, the boy. I saw the star boy. <laughs> I saw the Dark Star Boy starring in his own meme. Yeah, the meme that's just, we like his body. I don't think that, I know that this is maybe a dead meme, but I don't think that, like, it, can, it can't truly be a dead meme when the person is still alive. Adam right. Driver is still he's extant. He's still alive, and he's still just a beautiful man. He's still a beautiful, beefy push-up prince. I don't think that we need to be done with this yet. I think that maybe we can be like the... Uh, the bottle cap on the meme soda is yeah. what I'm getting at here. Yeah, I think we can we can bring it back. Yeah, we know? can bring it back and we can preserve like, it. <laughs> you know how Shrek always keeps coming back? Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to make a whole other movie with Adam Driver in it. And I'm sure they're going to show his, his beautiful chest again because exactly. it was such a hit. I hope that in the new one we see his ass and it looks exactly like his chest. Just like flat and wide. Just a, an ocean of Just flat muscle. <laughs> I think this, this is what is his great. hair. This is what his hair was doing, right? <laughs> Something like that. Just, Are you just okay? I see. You, you got a little mini picture over there. I thought you were you're uh, free balling this. <laughs> well, I am free balling this, Absolutely. but that's not. Uh, <laughs> that has nothing to do with the the drawing itself. <laughs> no, no, no. So why did? So this is God's perfect boy. Yeah, this is the perfect Adam. This is. Thank you for thank you for making me. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> thank you for birthing me. Thank you for birthing thank me. Thank you for giving me the spark. I'll use it well. I will use it well. <laughs> Tell me what you want me to do. <laughs> it shall be done. Now I think that like if we wanted to make this kind of like if we want if we so wanted to stupid. make this like an April Fool's joke we didn't even that you could check to yeah. see if like if, if this had been if, done. If someone made this. Well, don't worry, Nathan, because like I've still got to draw God. Okay, and so I, it's gonna be different. Yeah, I feel like if this was like a Think Geek exclusive, mm -hmm. then maybe it, God would be like Snoke or something like that. We're gonna have to pervert this even further. I and, want you to pull the, the rug out right from under me. Absolutely. <laughs> I want you to pull the rug out from underneath. Adam Driver and see him just land in a perfect push-up pose and bust out 200 of those bad boys. Just... Why Why is nobody asking Adam Driver to just bust out push-ups on the red carpet? Is um, that illegal? Are you not allowed to do that? I think, because the, the whole point of the red carpet is to get you excited yeah. for the thing, and I think if, if he just started doing that, then... Nobody would see the movie? No one would, no one would actually see the movie. It yeah. Would just yeah. Be like... <laughs> Usher would be like, it's time for the movie to start. Everybody come in here. He'd be like, shut up. Oh no, how many has he done? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Where'd he get those eggs? He's just housing hard boiled eggs. Now was he wearing shoes in this in this <laughs> shot? I don't or? I think that the shot is maybe like uh it's like waist length, so you don't really don't know. Alright, I'm gonna so, give him, I'm gonna try and draw this fucked up foot that, that Adam has in the in the actual Okay. With like one toe just sort of over here. I was I was kinda of hoping you'd do like some Vibram toe shoes or something like that, but I guess this is good. Just like just the actual fucked up foot. Michelangelo really went hard on the feet. Like I I've seen the David. I went and, I went and saw it. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> Just a little itty bitty, itty bitty dick on that, David, right? Itty bitty dick, big old feet. Yeah. And the hands, oh, those are a, a uh, those are a laborer's hands. Mm hmm And it's just, it's just great. And you can walk all the way around it and you can get the full view, see the ass and everything. That's what it says uh, outside the museum. See the ass and everything. And this is on a ceiling. Yeah, he did paint this on a ceiling. Which is impressive. Do you think this will go on someone's ceiling? You know, if you print this out and put this on your ceiling, let us know. <laughs> you can make your own Sistine Chapel. We'll provide uh, the high res file. I do like that if we if we just kept going with this current path, Nathan, it would just be like it would be like a Think Geek April Fool's joke or something. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it's great. It's it's not topical really at all. It's nothing. This is nothing that we're that what's, we're making. What's and... something is this fucking amazing Adam Driver that you've crafted. I didn't craft Adam Driver. Adam Driver is <laughs> a beautiful man. He was made from God's clay. Yeah, this is, I'm gonna be honest, mm -hmm. I think this is a better Adam. Also, like, in the original, because I'm looking at it, yeah. he's resting his elbow on his knee. In this one, he's just doing, he's doing like a, he's just doing a deadlift, I think. <laughs> okay, oh, nice. Let's get this, because you need to get the... <laughs> this you, is great, and this is definitely how you... This body doesn't just happen. This is Adam Driver being like, this is how you hold swords now. <laughs> Am I doing it right? 
just sitting on a big pile of mashed potatoes, holding that sword, just yeah, looking so are, good. These are mashed potatoes, <laughs> just glistening. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is my this is my dream from last night. Can I share with the audience why we were kind of drawn to Adam Driver? Oh yes. So I have a I have an actual um, Kylo Ren action figure mm-hmm. that a uh, a fan of Eight uh, Bit Book Club, the podcast I, I used to do, uh, gave unto me. And it's in this office where we're recording right now. Normally, it's it's sitting on a little table facing the room. But um, Nathan uh, has been staying with me for the past few days. Uh, and, and I walked in uh, one morning and I saw that he had turned the Adam Driver figurine around so that it was facing the wall. I turned it around immediately. <laughs> Just gonna... Now, I need to know why. I didn't want him looking at me. Nathan, don't you know he's there to keep the bad dreams away? Well, then he can face the bad dreams <laughs> and, not, and not give them to me. How was your night? Did you sleep well? <laughs> Good morning. I, I sent coffee. I, sen- <laughs> I, sens- I sense you might want some coffee, so I brought it for you. I sensed a disturbance in your tummy. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Adam. I put a little cinnamon in it. You take 2%, right? You can go. You look tense. It's just, it's the first thing I'm seeing right now. What kind of jam do you like? Those pants are very tight. Yes. We're going to we're going to Pure Bar Fitness. We're going to do some hot yoga. Okay. Do you want to join me for hot yoga? Uh, I make the yoga hot I'm, with my laser I'm sword. I'm very intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> um, what kind of jelly do you like for your scone? Can I draw something? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> please take this away All from right. me. Oh boy, I was supposed to be thinking of what to draw here. It's hard. It really is hard to think when you're looking at this good bod. Hard to think, easy to drink because of how dang thirsty I am for oh these enormous gosh. pectorals. <laughs> and I got I to gotta get our heads out of the clouds. So. Yeah. It's uh, which is ironic because I think God is coming in on on a cloud. Mm-hmm. A fun. Oh, Nathan, it's so tempting. It's so tempting just to draw Adam Driver again. <laughs> If you do, I won't blame you. <laughs> I mean, this I... is just yeah, it's just the infinite cycle. Cause uh, like fun fact about this yes. painting, yes, at least fun tidbit that I think is a fact because I heard someone say it like they knew what they were talking about. Yeah, these artists were also scientists at the time. They were sort of interdisciplinary. They're Renaissance men. You know, they they were studying the the human form and the yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the church didn't let you do a lot of, um, they weren't thrilled with that. Um, so this is a, a painting on the the ceiling the of, a, Chapel. of the Sistine Chapel. Yeah, the thing, the sort of like weird boat that God <laughs> is floating in on, yeah, is shaped like a cross section of the brain. Yeah, exactly. And so that was sort of Michelangelo doing a real, sn- just sort of like a fuck you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a really good intricate painting, but I'm gonna include some science in there just to just to fuck with you. It was sort yeah. of his. He was he was really banksying it up. He's kind of slam dunking on the Pope. Yeah, and I think that that's what's really cool about Michelangelo. I'm still kind of at a crossroads here, Nathan. I do think that I said slam dunk, and I like that idea. Okay, so this is this is sort of a dunk god. Yeah, I think in. he's gonna be dunking on him. Is it one of the Space Jam aliens? It could be a Space Jam alien. It could be Michael Jordan himself. It could be uh, the the Royal Duke of the Air. It could be Air Bud. It could you be could Air just, Bud. You could just give it a dog face. I kind of like that. That feels like a fun kind of um, because it's a uh, it's an anagram for God. Exactly, and it also gives it like a little Egyptian flavor. Which, sure, which I, I think is fun. Kyle, I just want you to surprise me. You know what? No, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> You're not even gonna draw a new face. You're just right, gonna fine. use the one I made. I'll do another. Ad- this is Adam from Girls. <laughs> okay, so he's got a bit of a goatee. <laughs> exactly. Good, good, good. But he is dunking. Yeah. I've never watched Girls. Mm-hmm. I just I, I watched the first episode, and um, I don't know if he plays basketball in that show, but he could. I think he absolutely could. You know, don't don't spoil it. In case I ever do want to watch girls in the comments, don't let me know whether or not he plays basketball. <laughs> I want that to be a surprise for me. I promise I won't. Every uh, episode, I'm just going to be like, oh, is this the one where he plays basketball? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his, uh, this is a bigger, this is a bigger, thicker Adam. <laughs> All right, I think I think I've got a direction in mind here. Okay, great. You did such a good job on this hair. Well, by thank the way. you. It it's just it's just great. It's just glorious. It's you a, know, he's glorious. I think that like this is kind of like this is God, and I think that we're just now realizing it. I think we expected Jesus to be like a, a Middle Eastern man from Nazareth when he came back, right? But turns out it is Adam Driver. So we're sort of 
mm-hmm. inadvertently starting a new religion. Just, yeah. So, so like Adam Driver, he wakes up morning after the premiere of The Last Jedi, and he's like, I wonder what people thought of the movie. And yeah. he just, it's just millions of pictures of him shirtless all over the interwebs. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, oh, my flesh has become a living meme. But now, yeah. Now he's going to wake up after we post this video thinking, well, no Star Wars thing has come out recently, so I'm safe. <laughs> I'm sa- I'm good. I'm good. And then all of a sudden- and Then he sees in his feed, two brilliant artists draw a new god for us, and his name is Dadum Driver. Oh, Dadum Driver. Dadum. Dadum Driver. <laughs> there he is. The birth of Dadum. The birth of Dadum, because he is the father of the son- and the holy dude. Yeah. And he's here for us. And he's and the dunking, basketball. He's, he's dunking, dunking himself. He's dunking the pure atom force into this earthly atom. Yeah. So that that atom might die and be in some good films. Uh, Wait. And we'll enjoy the good films. Well, li- live. Let's let's have him live. I think he can the, break the, a leg. He can. The like... old one. The old one has him dying. Mm-hmm. I think I'd like Adam to live a, a rich, full life. I think you know what? He can kill it. Is the thing. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh-huh. We're all gonna die. From, from sheer, sheer overload. enjoyment. Yes. <laughs> from sheer pleasure. It'll be like when you say you, you want to die or like when you say you die online. Right. And you're just like, because you enjoyed it so much. You, dead, D- Hi- D-E-D, dead, Absolutely. like that. Hyperbole. Yeah. We're so good at the online mm-hmm. slang and knowing what's popular. It's just every year I get I get older and more and more out of touch. And I, I was never in touch. Every year I get older and I love Adam Driver even more. <laughs> it's true. Mm-hmm. That is, those two things are both true. <laughs> as I lose touch with the rest of the world, mm-hmm. I can cling to Adam Driver as exactly. just as just a good buy. I can cling to his massive pecs as sort of a life raft that will sustain me. Look at all these pecs. Uh huh. Because you said in the in the original, it's uh, a brain. It's a brain. So this is I a thought... brain of. I've got pecs on the brain. The pecs are the brain of the torso. <laughs> Everyone knows it's true. Because I think about it, Nathan. Uh-huh. Left brain, creative. Right brain, uh, other shit. Uh, pooping and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Cause, and pecs, left pec. That's where your heart is. Uh-huh. Right, that's your, that's your tender, spiritual. That's your like love pec. <laughs> yeah. Your right pec, that's going to be... That's that's like the the science pec. I would say, yeah, that's, that's your, your logic pec. That's your logic pec. <laughs> that's your logic nipple. Yeah, <laughs> You, I've got I've got to use my logic nipple to solve this problem. <laughs> Nipples are the eyes that see what cannot be seen by uh, the, the mortal realm. Oh, Caldwell! Nipples are the eyes are God's eyes. Caldwell, there's there's someone here who wants to take a look at this. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. This painting. Who could it be? <laughs> Fire him up. You need your guidance. <laughs> you need our guidance. We need your guidance, Dadum. Dadum, we're starting a new religion for you. What do you think of it? I don't know how to make him go. <laughs> Here's the thing. That was just like... Here's the thing. He just goes. He just goes whether you want him to or not. And that's like kind of how the religion is. I am going to add some extra pecs just kind of floating in the background here. I feel it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling it all the time. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Oh, boy. He's just going to keep talking, by the way. The toy... I turned him off. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> turned him off um but he's turning it's you know it's weird i turn him off he turns me on it's just like that's just how can we get the duality of of life can we get julia to like actually paint this so it looks good yeah we should well i mean (laughs) she does all the colors on the drawings these days yeah that's why they look good but yeah so i'll just say julia really just really just shine this up is there anything that i'm i'm missing here nate a minion i don't want to sully it okay i i'm gonna i'm gonna just oh uh sully from (laughs) From Monsters Inc. <laughs> I'm with a different Sully. Uh, a, 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 a Hanks? Yeah, there he is. That... <laughs> you know, Sully won't ever admit it. He'll be like, oh, it was a goose. It was a goose. It, it was, was a dang goose. No, he saw the face of Dadum. Yeah. <laughs> and it made him crash that the... fucking plane. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing really in the background of this picture. Yeah. Which I think is bullshit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am just gonna add kind of like some some heavenly pecs just floating, just floating you know, around. Some li- little like cherubim cherubim pectorals, kind of okay. Like, just Are they just you gonna have some little wings, some little bit swole, swole wings, some swole wings? Fear this not, was... for I bring forth a multitude of <laughs> heavenly hosts, and they're all jacked as hell. I feel bad because yeah. um, 
Julia's going to do such a good job coloring this, and it's going to be on screen for such a short amount of time Well, at what, the end of the episode. How about what we do is we just like slowly uh, zoom in on Adam's face, on, uh -huh. on Dadam's face, mm -hmm. as we kind of uh, do all of our plugs. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not even going to start the plugs until you are completely finished drawing, and, mm -hmm. we've, and we've faded it in. Let's just keep doing some fun talk em ups Absolutely. right now. So Nathan, <laughs> yeah, these are horrible. How are you going to spread these the are... love of Dadam? <laughs> It's the pecs aren't. I need his face on there. I need his tiny little face for scale. Otherwise, I'm just horrified. They look like bad owls. What happened, Nathan? They is look that like terrible owls. In uh, in the Garden of Driver, uh huh. Dadam took a pectoral, took one of the nipples from uh, Adam Driver, and he made uh, another perfect Adam Driver. And that's where humans come from. That's we're all made in his image. Mm -hmm. We are all made of stars, and but specifically one celebrity star. Star Star Wars. <laughs> we are all made of Star Wars. Adam Driver. <laughs> <laughs> this is all in good fun. We're we're having fun. I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I'm having a good time. I just when I when I pitched the Adam Driver like Birth of Adam. Yeah, you, Caldwell got so happy. Yeah, that we and we just had to. I had to do the episode. So it's my fault, I Caldwell, guess. Well, you're what wasting trying to say. you're wasting your time shading this. It's all going to be shaded better by Julia. You're right. I just wanted to give it a little contrast. Okay, uh, but we should start plugging. We should let's, start watching. Okay, it down. let's let's. It's going to fade in, oh, and here now it here's a, and now just a slow zoom. Which Adam's face is it going towards? We don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this has been. <laughs> This has been Drawfy. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, this was such a fun suggestion. If if you guys like this, we can do more bad works of art. It yeah. Could be, it could become a new series even. Who it, knows? This could be like Drawfy Piece Theater or something like oh, that. Oh, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Get you know, get Jacob and Julia in there. Absolutely. In, involved. If this was your first episode of Drawfy, uh, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Howdy, gang! We take uh, you, we take your suggestions and we do all sorts of nonsense with them. Mm -hmm. You can leave a suggestion of what you'd like to see us draw next in the comments. We do this show on YouTube. We post twice a week. We do live shows once a month. We do live streams on Twitch every Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern, and we have a Facebook page where we post uh, we post the episodes from YouTube, and as and we also have a Facebook exclusive series called Drawfy Beans that's sort of an unedited version of this. Yeah, it's a lot looser than this tight, yeah. just perfect experience. Yeah, this tight, perfect episode, just like Adam Driver's tight, perfect body. Uh, <laughs> and you can also uh, check out Caldwell's very good D&D podcast, uh, Not Another D&D podcast that yeah. he does with Brian Murphy, Emily Axford, and Jake Hurwitz. It's very good and fun. Uh, I play a half link Boy Scout named Beverly Togold. And if you're a fan of Trophy, then you should definitely tune in soon because there might be a surprise might for you. Be, uh, who, d depending on when this episode comes out, it might be old news. <laughs> <laughs> Older news than Adam Driver's pecs? Yeah. A I, likely story. I, it's an evergreen story. It's mm -hmm. it's you know, you you read the news and it's all it's all terrible and sometimes you just want to remember the good old days. Some, when... Sometimes you just want to gravitate towards the only two pure things, the only two pure beacons of light that exist in the world, and that's Adam Driver's perfect nipples. Yep. We're sorry. We're sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. We're sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.